I see what happened. It's, it's like we, 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 it's, I hate someone, I hate someone. Hold on, um, look, is that? Settle her with this. <laughs> So, 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 so sorry, man. So sorry, man. So sorry, man. Mama, take, take this, man. What's this? For the troubles. It's, it's a cash from my ogre. It's okay. Sorry, man. Sorry. I, I wasn't looking. It's not your fault. I was in a hurry. I mean, a sincere apology from your ogre is fine. It's okay. No problem. It's fine. Okay, okay mom. Pastor, what's the issue? Is it too small? N not really, sir. What not is the problem? Sir. Speak. She, she wants an apology from you, sir. Let's go. I'm welcome, sir. Um, sir, the manager at our Ikoi branch was asking if you'll be around today since the senator will be staying there. No. Have them throw the senator a grand reception courtesy of me. Okay, sir. Your interview for a personal assistant. How's that going? Oh, about that. You know it came as a short notice, but we have seven applications already. If you wouldn't mind me asking, sir, would you like to be part of the screening process? Just the last part. Before you fools let another fool into my personal space. <laughs> um, right. Sir, would that be all? Can I... Would you like me to do anything for you? Excuse me, sir. Sir? Okay, I'll take my leave. Do have a lovely day. <laughs> Is this a joke to you? What is this dirty thing doing in my office? I'm um, sorry, she... Sir, actually, I was involved in an accident this morning. I couldn't go back home to change. Oh, of course you were. Otherwise, you'd be crazy now, wouldn't you? Ha. Sir? Excuse me, sir. She's actually the best candidate, and I think she's best for this job. We should go through her files. Her CV is really good. Sir, please quickly check it. The first and the last page. Hello, sir. Um, Miss... Helen. Helen, pack your day, right? Yes, please. I think this is the end of the journey for you. You can go home. So sorry. Thank you. I think good. Get her back. Sir, get who? Helen. I promise. Wait. Sir? Take them with you. Oh, please get out. You Gentleman, don't... lady, you don't have the job. Hello. Please, honorably get out of this office, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, please go. I need to run. Please. Please. Ah, I need to run. Thank you. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Sir, she's, 
She's here, sir. She should I tell her to come in? Not necessary. She has the job and she starts tomorrow. You can start to prep her. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. This is your seat. This is your seat. You're welcome. Count yourself lucky. Oh. And that's my own seat, okay? We're just close to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need water? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's, it's one of those things. I'm good. I'll be fine. So, like, what's, what's the hard part of the job? Is there anything I should know? What you should know about the job? Hard part? That man. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me catch my breath. Oh. You see that man, eh? You can't go wrong by him. Because if you do, you would lose your job. But if you don't go wrong by him, you would keep your job. And what do I mean by staying wrong by him? You see my last assistant, yeah? He sacked her because she called the client by his first name instead of his official name. Just that. Just that, oh, my darling. Because why would a man need two personal assistants? It's not that he's mad. Sorry. Apologies. But anyways, see that his name Ayodeji. Don't get fooled by it, too. Because he does not bring any joy into the room. He's a sadist. A complete loner. So day your day is day your day. Miss, congratulations and welcome to the job. This is my phone. Please yes, phone. yes. And this is mine. Oh, that's what I think I need to do. Hey. Hello, sir. Yes, I've sent it already, sir. Yes, I've added it, sir. Okay, sir, I'll do that now. You know, I'm so glad that he likes you. I don't get to see his face as often as before. And come to think of it, you are the only employee that he calls by a first name. I've been working with him for months, and he calls me, hey, you, like I'm some bingo. 
So you know that this is not fair, right? You are the one that is his assistant. You should be working closely with him, not me. Hey, okay, yeah. Then. It's not fair, B. This is not fair. Where were you when I was racing upstairs and downstairs just for your sake, oh, just for you to get this job? In fact, heavenly race, you know, reach that one. That's why you want to kill me with work, you and your girl. Hey, my darling, it is God rewarding me for my hard work. I hear you. Hey, you should be praising Madame me and be Teresa. sending me money. <laughs> ah. Sir, here's the file you asked. Helen. Sir? Do I look familiar to you? No, sir. So you don't recognize me at all? Think. Crown Junior High, 2007 sets. And you were Helen, <laughs> the girl with the pimpled face. Changed a lot. Yeah. I got corrective eye surgery many years ago, and um, the fat was always bound to wear off, so. Yeah, I don't mean that you used to be much kinder. Oh, I forgot to mention that I grew. You see, I learned that in this world, there's two categories of people. Those who push and those who get pushed. You see, while I learned a little bit too late, it seems that you didn't learn at all. How do you, you mean? You can go now. OK. For me, I love really handsome guys. A very caring guy with lots of money. Money. And he has to be romantic. Of course. That's very necessary. Of course. Me too. <laughs> my boss at the office, guess what? He went to my secondary school. Hmm. And well, he used to be bullied a lot back then. And you know, it just got me thinking. I was like, if, if he's, he's the way he is right now. For you, darling. So, Sophia, what do you want to tell us? <gasps> oh my God, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. I love it. Oh, congrats. I told you he's a private person. Whatever. I hope he's so romantic. Of course. <laughs> he got down on one knee. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for you. Something came up, so I left. But the ring is in a chest drawer. Are you being serious right now? I'm sorry. You asked for a unique ring, so I had a single cut diamond one made. Really? Yeah. I hope you like it. So, he got down on one knee mm -hmm. in front of his entire Entire family. Oh and then he brought out the bar. And I saw this ring, and I had to say yes to the love it's of my life. so beautiful. Now that's a man. I'm so happy for you. This is so beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. The Lord will do it for you, too. <laughs> You'll do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> now let's cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. I'm so happy for you. And it's so right. <laughs> Let me see too. You had one job. Call them and confirm the time for the meeting, but you didn't. Now they would think we're unserious. We're not showing up for our own pitch meeting. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. It won't happen again. I can see that you do not value your job anymore. 
Oh, you? No, no, sir. It was, it was um, Ellen. I assigned it to her. She was supposed to make the phone call. Helen? Is that true? Yes, sir. Both of you get out of my office. Sir, so should we still call them? I said get out of my office, Helen. Look, look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want him to fire me. What if he fired me? He can't. He can't fire you. See, luckily, he's fond of you. See, please, I don't like this thing you did. Don't do it again. I'm, I'm sorry. I promise I won't. I'm sorry. Smile now. Fine, girl. Good evening, Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was Helen. It's okay now. Forget wife. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I've heard. Thank you. I was heavy. Is it enough now? Uh uh. Someone was in trouble. So he sent for me. Come. Come and take a look at this. That guy. Do you recognize him? Of course I do. That Stan. He was such a bully. He used to call me Butterface. Remember him? Me too. All it took was a glance to remember him. Well, I have a meeting with him in about two hours. And you are tagging along. His company is going through a crisis and he needs funds, so he contacted me. So that's very nice that you agreed to help him. It's always good to pay back evil with good. Get ready. We leave soon. Yes, sir. Thank you all. Thank you, madam. I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you. Thank you all. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes, well, you can let me. Thank you. It's, uh, it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your business. Thank you. Mr. Stanley, Umigwe. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Mr. Stanley Wigwe, this is my personal assistant. Her name is Helen Fakayode. And I believe her nickname was Butterface. Wait a, wait a minute. Did you intentionally convince them to sell my company to you? Was this the plot all along? Who the hell are you? Calm down. You see, your company's ship was already sinking. 
I saved your ass. Just not in the way that you as your Who are you? Well, my name is Deji. Deji, a.k.a. Four Eyes. Deji, a.k.a. The Fat Kid. Deji. Whom you pushed around a lot. You pathetic fool! Oh, wow. I saw it. If I remember correctly, that carries about three years jail term and a hefty fine. Do you have any money? Do you even have up to 10 million in shares after selling your company? <laughs> Let's go. Was revenge your intention? No. You see, revenge is intentional. This... This was purely coincidental. He reached out to me. Instead of the partnership that he wanted, I bought the company outright. It was a good deal for myself and the other shareholders. I have no idea why he was so mad. Maybe because it's his company. Did you just revenge? And so what if it is? That's not fair. I mean, I know he was mean to you, he was mean to us, but he went overboard. It's just evil. Overboard and evil. Do you want to know what overboard and evil is? Overboard and evil is bullying your classmates just to crush their confidence. Do you know how long it took me for me to get over what he did to me? Well, I guess you wouldn't. All these years later, you still have no self-confidence and you don't love yourself. You see, when we met again, the accident, I wondered. You didn't collect any money. You didn't ask for more. We offered you money and you turned it down, but it checked out when I figured out it was you. You have no spy and I pity you. But maybe you don't deserve my pity. You see, in this life, there are two types of people, Heather. Those who push and those who get pushed. And unfortunately, you belong to the latter category. You get pushed. You are a pushover. And that is why you took responsibility for my personal assistant when she did something wrong. Or you think I didn't know? I need to get down. Stop the car so she can find somewhere to go. All right, sir. Are you sure about it? Drive. Um, Samia. You. You're going with me to the construction meeting. Get ready. No, but, um, so, excuse me, sir. You said, um, you were going with Ellen and she already got the files ready. Get the files from her and go through them. You have about three hours to do three, so. Three hours, sir. Yes, sir. So would that be odd? Can I take my leave now? All right, sir. Are you sure he's still coming? Yeah, he is. It's. You know, he's very busy. 
Why is she drinking so much? Anyways, my friends are upstairs. They want to meet us. We can go and take a drink or two with them while we wait for your almighty fiancé. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> Helen, she cannot come with us. Babe, look at her. She's drunk. And she came with us. So it's better we take her upstairs. Oh, guys, come, please go. Just go. I'm fine. I don't want to go up anyway. Babe, let's go. What exactly are you doing here? Uh, I'm here with my friends. You can't see them. No. <laughs> They're actually upstairs. They um, meant to have drinks with some guys, but. I don't qualify, so here I am. They always do it. I mean, I'm like the third wheel in the relationship. Friendship, whatever, relationship is friendship, isn't it? So, yeah. But am I a bad person for... for blaming them? Am I? Am I playing the victim? You can't be playing the victim if you actually are the victim. Mm. Yeah. And I think you shouldn't be friends with people who make you feel bad. You have friends with this attitude? Hmm. I suggest you talk to your friends. You know, try to sort it out. Hmm. I think I like that. I'll do it. Wait. Why am I telling you my secrets? Probably because you're drunk. Uh, I'm not drunk. I, I've just had like, uh, like a little bit soup. Okay. Maybe a little more than a little bit, but not drunk, drunk. Like, I'm good, you know? You know what I mean? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I had plans for this evening. Like, I had a script and... <laughs> I thought I was gonna meet like my Prince Charming. And we're gonna kiss. And now I can't kiss him because it's you. <sighs> Who's that? My girlfriend. What the hell? Ah! What did you, you do? You're nasty. You have a girlfriend and you tried to kiss me. Like, you now made me throw up. Ew. You know I'm the person who should be complaining, not you. Then complain. Jesus. You know what, well, maybe you shouldn't drink alcohol when nobody is around. Helen! Yeah. Stop thinking about I can't make it. Send the bill for you and your friends. 
Yeah. Okay, sir. What's up? Mr. Yodiji said I should bring the project files. Hmm. Hallelujah. It's finally back to you. Please, can you help me give it to him? I'm having cramps. Is it? Stomach is paining me, please. Babe. Just this once. Just this last time. Oh, come on. My friend. Who is your friend? It will go before you call me again. Um, hi, sir. What files do you want to be printed? If you walk into my office one more time today, you'll find yourself writing a letter of application to other jobs tomorrow. Is that clear? What? Gets me, Helen. Helen. Oh, OK, sir. Sir, what do you want to print, sir? When I call your extension, I know exactly who I'm calling, Helen, so please do not make me look stupid next time. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this question I'm about to ask you might seem weird. How's your hangover? I'm fine, sir. It wasn't serious. Do you, perchance, have anything to say to me? I mean, you did puke on my clothes and make me cancel my plans just to take you home. I'm sorry, sir. And thank you. Sir, you owe me an apology and probably your girlfriend. Well, it did not happen. And my girlfriend isn't someone you just apologized to. So you owe me a sincere apology then? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling at you at the car and taking out my anger on you. I feel the phrase, forgiveness is the biggest, revenge is totally stupid. I mean, I'd be foolish if I saw an opportunity and not take it. My mistake was involving you. OK. Yes, sir. All right, sir, I just leave now. That issue with your friends? Did you talk about it? Not yet. Hmm. You know, I don't have a lot of friends. And that may be because I am selfish, but I think that sacrificing your peace of mind for peace to reign is Stupid and foolish, if you ask me. They're your friends. You don't work for them, so you're supposed to be comfortable in their presence and have the difficult conversations. Is it just me, or is that how friendship is supposed to work? Yes, it is, sir. Well, keep me updated. All right, sir on what you are supposed to print. Oh, there's actually something to print. Of course. 
or it's up. Are you not going in? Blair? Blair? Are you still angry with me? Look, you know how much this job means to me. Yet you deceived me into going to its office. When you know that you have a personal beef between both of you, why do you have to put me in the middle? Sorry, it's not even that serious. It's not like you would have fired you. Like you don't know our boss. Who am I? Besides, it is only you that he gives preferential treatment, not me. I'm sorry. Please, I want to keep my job. Please, I beg. Well, let me take you out to, to dinner. Is it what? Or her soup. You know, my, my stomach is big. I know. Time is going. Going, going, going. Babe, calm down. You'll meet him today. Better. So, what's up, girl? Oh, I'm fine. She means, why you summoned us today? So, um, I've been nursing a dissatisfaction for a while now, and I just want to get it out of my chest. About? I kind of feel left out of this friendship. I mean, your friends are supposed to be your safe place, your comfort zone, right? But I don't feel like that with you guys. And we've known each other since our youth service. I've known you for like ever. We go way back, but I just feel like we don't know each other. I feel like I know you guys, but you guys don't know me. That's because I'm always listening. You guys never listen to me. Every time we go out, I feel like I'm an outcast. I just wanted to let you guys know how I felt. <clears throat> okay. I'm, I need to use the restroom. I never liked that girl, and I blame you for it. Babe. Honestly, I regret introducing her to you. She's just some old family friend who I didn't expect to get clingy. Like, I wasn't planning to be friends, friends with her. Imagine her blaming us for her looks. All more things they happen to know, one life. Get bad mouth. Abia, they lie. That girl, bo, bo. But yet we still carry her to everywhere we go to. Hey guys, um, I just got called for a compound meeting, so I have to go. Oh, compound meeting? Okay. Bye. Next. Good night. You think she heard us? Hundred percent. I don't know why she wouldn't tell me she's dating you. I know DJ hospitalities very well. I stayed in one of your hotels last month, um, the one in Abuja. I heard your dad was initially the owner of the company, but things got bigger when you took over. I guess it's generational money. Girl, a wealthy family, a romantic man, a handsome man. Now that's a catch. Excuse me. 
Hello. Hey, is this a good time? Yes. You did it. I told them, but it didn't go well. I shouldn't have listened to you. I, everything just fell flat, and I feel worse. Where are you? Why? I am at that bar. I'm coming. Ladies, unfortunately, I have to take my leave. Business calls. Really? Just like that? Yeah, both of you have fun. The bills on me, of course. We'll sure do. Bye, handsome. Just say I spoke to my friends and they um they didn't take it very well. They told me how they truly feel about me. And what happened next? You guys fight? Bicker maybe? <laughs> That's what girls do, isn't it? Mm. I am taking you home. I don't want to go home. I want to talk to someone. I want to, someone to listen to me. <laughs> me. So, I, I got the hint, you know? I got it, but just hearing them say this thing, it hits harder. What I mean? You should thank your lucky stars. Better to know you have no friends than have those as friends. I have a friend. Blessing. I thought you were going to mention me. Uh, just someone I like to talk to when I'm drunk. Oh, and you're my boss. <laughs> so who's this blessing? Really? Blessing. Your PA blessing. I call her Miss Okafia. That's what I know her by. So she's worked for you for how many months and you don't know her first name? You're weird. Oh, she's really nice. I I hung with her, you know, a while ago, and she was sweet. Sweeter than my so-called friends. You know, I see what you're doing. So first you turned my staff into your friend, and now you're trying to make me a drunk chauffeur, is that it? <laughs> I just really wanted someone to talk to. Why are some people so mean? I mean, they act like it's my fault that I am not stunning or drop dead gorgeous. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. I mean, the general standards of beauty. And who exactly made those standards? God. I don't know, like, why do some people have to prove that they're attractive and then some other people are just attractive? Why? Tell me why. Well, if nobody has told you, Helen, I think you're a very attractive woman. 
I thought you were attractive even when you were battling adolescent pimples. I, uh... You... What? Never mind. My point is, there are different standards of beauty. Oh. I mean the general standards of beauty. You know what I mean. Everybody has different standards for beauty. And in the end, you are beautiful in your own way. Okay. And with that, I am taking you home. You know, times like this make me remember that you're human. What does that even mean? You know everybody in the office thinks you're mean, right? I have to be professional, otherwise nobody will get anything done. OK. If that works for you. I mean, it's not like my approach is working anyway. <laughs> you're done. No, no, one more step, please. Good morning, sir. Helen, how are you? Sir? Your hangover, Helen. I'm talking about your hangover. Do you have one? If you do, I'm sure I can find something in here for you. Oh, no, sir. I'm fine. Okay. I don't have one. OK. OK, sir, can I get the files for the regional manager now? I didn't call you in here for files. I called to check on you. I thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, um, hello? Yeah, Gaston, we are the right place. Unit 100. See, Augustan, just calm down. Calm down, we'll get her. No, just relax, relax, I'm going to get her. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! I'm so sorry about the way Michelle reacted the other day. It wouldn't happen again. It's fine. So... Now that my friends know, when are we going to tell our parents? I know you said I should wait, but... It's getting tiring having to remove the ring every time my parents show up. Sophia, we need to talk. About? Hello? <laughs> Calm down and speak to me. What happened? Hello? Where are you going? Bill's on me. That wasn't work. <laughs> I 
that was a work. But sweetie happened now? Ah, I don't know. She just ran into my front. Well, she ran into your front? Yeah. She don't die? I don't, I don't know. Hey! Ah. I come put her now. I didn't make carry them to the hospital. Make her carry them to the hospital. Bring her back. Can you stop? He hasn't even broken up with you. Babe, you don't understand. Like, he was worried. He's never acted that way with me before. What if she was a family member? <laughs> he would have said so. Like, I asked him and the look in his eyes. <laughs> it said it all. And You don't know what I had to do to get him to propose to me. You don't know what I had to do for this. I'm not giving up. Now that's more like it. Okay? I'm not giving up. It's the spirit girl. Hey. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Do you have any pains in your body? What's today? Today? It's a uh, Thursday. 16th of June. What? Yeah, you were out a really, really long time. Oh my god. Easy, easy. I'm only joking. You know how to joke. The men. They said Stan sent them. What happened after? Did they catch them? Did you mentioned Stan in the phone call. I heard him taking care of other men as well. How do you mean? I feel like we should just get the police to handle this. And it is being handled by the police. I don't know what you think of me, but I am a man of the law. So what are you doing here? You should be at the office. I feel responsible for this. Still, you should be. I will be here, Helen. Okay. I'll make them oh, wait, where are you going? I was going to walk you to your door and also help you with your bag. I can manage. That's fine. But take your medication judiciously. I'll call in from time to time to check up. Thank you, sir. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow? You're not coming to work tomorrow. I'm granted you leave starting today. No, sir, please don't do that. You're acting weird. He says, I'm fine. Doctor says I'm unharmed. I just fainted from the shock. Fine. But I'd have my driver pick you up, at least, if that's OK. OK. Thank you, sir. Sabasi, thank you. All right, ma. Bye-bye, ma. Bye. Sir, where to, sir? The office. 
Mr. Bassi, good morning. Oh, good morning. I'm so sorry for keeping you. It's fine, it's fine. Sir, no, ma, please. My name is Helen, or oh, Miss Helen. Okay, ma. I was so scared when I couldn't reach you. Aww. Then, when you told me what happened over the phone, mm -hmm. my heart skipped. Aww. Baby girl, at this point, we are going to choose a wedding reception because I will propose. <laughs> you are making me love you too much. <laughs> oh, Papa. <laughs> um, no, it's not. Even yesterday, he came around noon. If he's not wizard craft, hmm? Why would that man tell you to come to the office today when he knew that what happened was because of him? But he actually told me not to, but I insisted. Oh, please. I always knew that man is Atlas. But then I thought he's fond of you. Uh -huh. Hey, calm down, Blessing. It's not that deep. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm better, sir. Thank you. Ms. Okafo? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Got to make sure she doesn't stress today. She's still recovering. Sir? Hello, my dear. What's going on here? What? What was going on? Do you even walk? Bless him. Ah. Wait, no. Es excuse me. Hello. We have gist. Mm -hmm. We have, uh uh. Woman to woman talk. Take care of me. Take care of me. They say I should take care of you. Let me give you feed up. <laughs> mm. Okay. <clears throat> Have you sent the email to them then? Yes, I have. Uh... You didn't respond? Hmm. That's how your guy is toasting. Hey! Yeah. Go that way. Hello, sir. Have you taken your afternoon medication? Um, not yet, sir, but I would take it. How could you forget something like that? It's important. You know what? Just come into the office with it. Yes, sir, but... Hello? What is it? Oga said I should come with my medication to his office. As <coughs> That's what is it? <coughs> Babe, wait. Yes, As I'm what? <laughs> As doctor, I'll be in clinic. I'll be hospital. I'll be veterinary doctor. Good, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see I'm pacing? What is it? It's Ayo. He's not picking my calls. Then go meet him, wear something sexy and go to his house. Well, he's barely at home. And he's always staying in one of his hotels. Mm, what about his office, his workplace? He told me to never come to his office. And you listen to that because? You're right. Desperate situations call for desperate measures. I'll go to his office tomorrow. Now that's right. 
Way to go, girl. <laughs> so, am I picking something for you or something? How about we go shopping for that? That's my girl. <laughs> You sick up they are paying you to do, Abby. I beg, I beg, I beg. Let me rest. Let me breathe. Yeah. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. See your blood. Hey, this office romance, sir. God went. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Where are you going to? To your hospital. <laughs> Funny girl. <laughs> Don't be a baby about it. It's your last day. Uh, oh. Whoa, I can't believe you finished that. You know, I work with them sometimes. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can go get you another one. How about we share? Oh. Like this. What's going on here? I'm, 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 sir, I'm so sorry. I told her not to come in. I was calling you, but you were not picking up the call. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. Madam, please leave now. Now, what are you doing here? I work here. What are you... Oh, my God, I'm... It's not even what you think. He was just trying to give me the mint. I mean... I promise it wasn't a kiss. It, it's not even like that. Really? Please leave them um, if you touch me. Is this what it is, Ayo? Helen. Like, if it was some irresistible model with a drop-dead gorgeous banging body, I would understand. But you want to leave me for that? Have you looked at her? And if you have, have you looked at me? You need to watch the way you speak about Helen, Sophia. Or what? Ma Madam, please come and go. Please. Not until you apologize first. Stop. See this one? You're finally growing wings. And see shifts, you're not rich. This isn't about you. But it is about me. You're upset that your boyfriend was kissing me. Passionately. Hmm. Must have hurt. I mean, Helen. Ugly Helen that was always trying to cling to you and your pretty friends. What's happening now, Sophie? I thought beauty was everything. Turns out your personality stinks. Ah! Yeah. You need to leave before I call security. Ah! Well, I guess I deserve that. Can leave now. Madam, please go. You know, that was actually pretty dope. Well, I'm well, very proud of you, Helen. What did I just do? And I was kissing someone's fiance. Not someone, my friend's fiance. Hey. What? Come on, what was I doing? What you were doing was kissing someone that wanted to kiss you. By the way, Sophia isn't much of a friend now, is she? You knew she was my friend. Why did you lie to me? You told me she was just your girlfriend. I am not really engaged to her. It's, it's... You know what? This conversation is over. I'm not, this never happened. Let's just go back to work. And please, stop giving me preferential treatment. It makes me uncomfortable. I thought you figured it out, Helen. You're lying. You never mentioned her in any conversation, and when I did, you acted like you didn't know her. Okay. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I engaged Sophia a day before I met you. How was I to know that I was going to meet you again? Please, sir. Respect my decision. You know what? Fine, if that's what you want. Have you told your parents about the engagement? I haven't. But I can. Don't. Sophia, I feel it's time we end this whole charade, don't you think? You're breaking off the engagement. Wasn't much of an engagement to begin with, was it? You know how this started, Sophia. You told me you felt pressured by your friends, which was a lie, by the way, and that you'd put up with the charade until I'm ready for the real thing. But truth is, I'm never going to be ready for the real thing with you. You're breaking up with me? Get rid of me that easy. How much? A hundred million. What? Why do I even bother with you? Sophia, I do not owe you a dime. And you know better than to get in my bad box. Sorry now, so it's it's in serious. Now the price would end the talking side thing. Well, I have this business idea I've been thinking of going into. And it would cost about three million. Can you spare three million? Just sell the ring. It costs more. By the way, you are not to bother Helen again. Also, do not send me your suicidal texts. They don't work anymore. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Oh, we're at it again. Okay, you know what? How to it? What's up? What's wrong with you? I think I'm fine. Nothing, you're fine. You can tell that to a stranger because I know you well. And I noticed that since that fine yellow woman walked into the office, you've been acting strangely, especially around the boss. So tell me what's wrong. A fine yellow woman is one of my friends. When I told you about my family friend, Okay, so what was she doing at her office? And besides, how did she get to know our boss? Turns out they're engaged. <gasps> en engaged? 
pop was th that man. So then why, why was he? Exactly. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, darling. You know what? This our nose is too heartless. It doesn't allow us to smell bad people around us. To think I thought this man was just um being cold and wicked. Turns out he is very manipulative and deceptive. I hate him. I'm sorry, bestie, come here. I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm fine. No, you're yeah, not fine. I'm, okay. I'm actually fine. Don't cry. Don't fine. let it drop. Don't let it drop. I'm not going to cry. I'm okay. Bless him. Thank you. Fine. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Thank you. Where have you been? Eh? I've been calling your number. See, I'm so sorry. I overslept and I didn't hear my phone ring. Hey. So sorry. See, I even have hangover from last night. Well, you were not even that drunk when you left my house. Oga has been calling you. He's been calling your extension every time I pick. He says he wants to talk to you. Wait, he has called me. Yes. Hey. You know what? Um, he told me. Let me quickly go to his office. Hey. Which kind of sleep is this? I'm coming. I beg. She said you sent for me, sir. Miss Okafor, for what time is it? Sir, I'm so sorry. It, it was the bus I entered. It, it broke down, then the tire was bad. I had to trek all the way you from... You are fired. Sir? Sir, please. Sir, please, this is my only source of income, sir. Sir, I'm, I'm the first daughter. I'm the breadwinner of my family. Miss Okafor, do I have to call security on you? No, sir, you didn't allow me. You didn't allow me to finish. I cannot afford to lose my job, sir. Please, sir, please, I beg you in the name of God, sir, please. Please, I can't. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Sir, sir, please forgive me, sir, please. Okay, sir. Bless him. He fired me. Tell him I'm jobless. I'm like, what? Bless him. I'm not jobless. It's not my fault. Oh my God, where do I stop from? Where am I going? No, I have to go and talk to him. No, 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 don't, don't go. Look. Right now, he's in a very bad mood. I don't want us to escalate the issue. Please, please don't go. What for this man for 10 months and you come late just once and he fires you? <laughs> I have to try. Bless him, don't go. Bless him, bless him, please. Bless him, please, don't go. Bless <laughs> Ah, can you forgive blessing? Yeah, now that you're here, 
I'm reminded. You are now the head PA. We are holding interviews for your assistant tomorrow. Please. Oh, I see we're on first name basis now, Ms. Fahayude. This happened because of me. She was late because of me, so please. You told me that we should act like we don't know each other. And now you're here thinking I'll go back on my word because it was your fault? You must think the entire world revolves around you. Ask around, I don't go back on my word. And you're proud of yourself. That girl has worked with you for 10 months and just one small mistake, you can't even look away. No. No, Miss Fakai. Why are you so wicked and cold-hearted? And please don't tell me it's because you were bullied because I was there too and I turned out fine. Oh, you pity me. <laughs> I should be the one pitying you. You're damaged. Instead of you to not treat people how you were treated, you're going around causing havoc, creating monsters like yourself. This thing happened what? How many years ago? You're just using this as an opportunity. So. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Get out of my office! I can't believe we both got fired on the same day. <laughs> you eh? I told you, I said, don't go in there. But you know the year what you get coconut I'm to fight for my best friend. <laughs> wait, wait. Please, if you want to hang out or want to drink Kai Kai, who is going to pay? You still talk about Kai Kai. Better let's go and start job hunting. <laughs> Mr. Ayodeji Williams to say, <clears throat> by this time tomorrow, you'll be turning in your application letter for a new company tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. God bless. Let's, <laughs> let's pack and go. <laughs> Best friends that work together. Get fired together. Period. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Why are you not at work? Asa, which work again? Asa, she may have left your work for you. You fired me now. Do you want to remain fired? No, 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 sir, no, sir. Then you have your job back. How soon can you get here? Ah, sir, no, no, no. I'm ready to um, Sorry, sir. No, um, sorry. 30 minutes. In, in before 30 minutes, I'll be there, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> you call my friend. Big, 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 big. Hello, Ellen. Hello, baby girl. Guess who just called me? <laughs> Our boss. Is that I should come back to work? <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I, I think he's going to call you back soon. Yes. So, bestie, see you soon, maybe.
Sir, you sent for me. Mr. Okafo. Yes, sir. What's with the big glasses, empty brain candidates you've been sending me? Sir, so they are the ones that applied for the job, and we have to accept them like that. So you're telling me that nobody sensible wants to work at DJ Hospitalities? We are going to organize another set of interviews this Friday. Okay, sir. Can I leave now, sir? What about your friend? My friend? Sir, you don't know any of my friends. Oh, <laughs> Helen. She's fine, no, she's alive. But um, she's still job hunting, sir. Can I go now, sir? Okay, sir, thank you for answering me. God forbid, not, not under my watch. Next. Why not? I told you I'm going for cool and smart. Wait, I think he likes you. Yeah. I ordered you, Williams, asked after you. Has what, oh, please? Queen of England. You know what? Let me tell you something. For that man, out of sight is out of mind. In fact, sometimes you might be in sight, but you're totally out of his mind. But he remembered your name and asked after you. So what am I supposed to do? Should I go and meet him and tell him, oh, hey, I know you like me. Wake up with Sophia. <laughs> you see, the first thing that you should do hmm, is to admit the fact that you like him too and stop lying to yourself. And then what? Besides, I said some very hurtful things to him. Personal and hurtful. And then water and Gary. Hmm? And then apologize. It's as simple as that. That's what a normal human being would do. Apologize. Ed, are you going to help me? I need a job. And I know you cannot do without me. I will help you now. But let me tell you something. We are going for sharp and smart witted. Who cares whether you are cool headed or not? Auntie, let's go and read that box. Because if I go to that box, I'm going there with fire. Let's go. Follow me. <laughs> eh? Ah, ah. You have plenty of clothes here. What back. will you wear? <laughs> oh, Jesus, you're ungrateful. Sir, is this the reason why you said we should take the tinted car? You're crossing the line, Bassi. Sorry, sir. Sir, is that not Miss Fakayode? Obviously, Basi, I have eyes. I I'm sorry, sir. But I, I thought you wanted to talk to her. Well, apparently, she has some place to be. We'll just come back later. OK, sir. Can I go now, sir? Yes. I've been waiting for you. Good evening.
Good evening. Good evening. Um, go inside. Helen, I need you to come back to work. I'm sorry about how I reacted. It's okay. I was out of place. I shouldn't have said the things I said. Do you really want to know why I left Crown Junior High in GSS3? Did you tell me? Tell me what happened. So I... I had gotten into an argument with Kelvin. Stan's friend. He... He wanted my watch. I didn't give it to him because it... It was... It was a gift to my father. After, after school, after, after school, I, I went to the restroom. I went to the restroom and that's when, that's when Calvin and, that's when Calvin and Stan walked in and they, they took my watch. Not only did they take my watch, they broke my glasses and rendered me literally blind. and I was basically blind in there. According to the plan, I guess they were supposed to come and let me out after, after soccer practice, but they, they forgot. They probably forgot and I, I stayed there all night with noises. Weird noises that I, I couldn't see. I was there. I was there till morning where where a cleaner came to let me out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Don't be surprised, man. I shouldn't have said the things I said to you. I'm sorry. My father asked me about the situation. He asked me if I was okay and I lied to him. That was the day he took me to the company and he showed me around. He told me that everything belonged to me and that I shouldn't let my sense of self-worth and value be, be based on the opinion of others. And that's when everything changed for me. When I was When I was leaving the country, the only thing that made me reluctant was you. 
So, Helen, please. Please come back to work. You can't please. have a new job. I don't want to be your employee. Is that why you came here to tell me to come back to work? Yes. Yes. And um, at your uh, at your new job today, do they treat you okay? I got it today. I start tomorrow. I let that happen. I, uh, I like you, Helen. No, I, I love you, I think. I love you. I have always loved you, even when you were battling adolescent pimples in, in junior high and when you'd wait <laughs> till the teacher has almost flogged the entire class till you swooped in with your smart answers and saved the class. Helen, I... I know I'm a terrible person, but I need You're you. Not a terrible person. You just need to be empathetic towards people that deserve it. Empathy. I can learn empathy. But I need you. I need you by my side. By your side as what? Well. I, as someone that I can love. Does that mean I can love you too? Yes. If I'd be so lucky. I love you, DJ. I love you too, Helen. I always have. Can I... Uh, may I kiss you? I don't have any mint. <laughs> That's perfect. Because now I don't need an excuse to do what I really want to. Actually, quite tasty, you know. Yeah, like me. <laughs> you know, when I'm with you, I I feel like I'm in a dream, the best dream in the world, and I don't want to wake up. I feel the same way. I'm Helen, the one that everyone overlooks. I'm here with you. You're so lucky. I'm the lucky one. I got to steal your heart. <laughs> Hold on. Come. 
Do you remember this? No. So back in school, at the quadrangle, Stan had spread out my stuff and wanted me to exercise by picking them up. I ran and went to hide at the old lab. But you went to help pick my stuff up for me. And when you realized that my pencil case was broken, you brought my pens and my pencils to me bound with this. I left school suddenly and I realized that this was the only thing I had to remember you by. It seems weird now and I didn't mean to keep it for all these years, but it's, it has brought me comfort amongst other things. Hey, I hope I didn't say something creepy. It's just, it's just so romantic. I didn't know I had a positive impact on anyone. Thank you for sharing. No, thank you. I love you. I love you too. Thanks so much. I love you more. So much.